you guys already know what's happening. Before we get into this video, the hats are live. Everybody's been asking for them, and we're here to deliver official DOD King collaborating with Sunday Swagger. We got the DOD. Johnny, what does that stand for? Drive off the deck. Come baby. on now, and you already know that's Come right. On now. 757. And we got a crown hat, unfortunately. Manager Doug sat on the crown hat, so we cannot showcase it in this video. Everybody's been asking what the crown means. What does anything mean? The mm. crown means that you are the best at what you do, and if you wear it, you represent that. Hats are live right now. 15% off. Hit the link. Let's rock and roll. Let's get into the video. Welcome back to the Delusionally Confident Podcast, episode two. We're going to lose count at some point, so do not get angry at me. To my right, from one of the first times on screen. We got my man, Winstonian, up, Winston fellas? Stoney Davis, brother. What's up, dude? Happy to have you sitting yes, next sir. to me. Usually behind the camera today, you are both behind and in front of the <laughs> camera. Welcome to the podcast. How you doing today? I'm doing all right, dude. Unbelievable. I'm doing Unbelievable. way better. Way better, man. And let's just cut right to it. Instagram is back. Yes, sir. We have our account back, mm -hmm. and we are lit, and we are very happy. And it, it was crazy because the day that we got canceled essentially we went and recorded a podcast right away and we couldn't upload it because Correct. i went off i would have gotten canceled again if we had posted <laughs> that podcast so luckily we didn't do that we waited because that yeah, was a smart now. decision i think so we have good people around us because, Correct. you know you, you know me i'm a wild card I well like i agreed with things. you i i wanted to film that podcast too i was mad yes. yeah we were all mad because there was no explanation for it correct there's no explanation no reasoning for it but and we'll get into this later in the podcast but the instagram is back we are back, and we're about to double our follower rate after <laughs> all this nonsense that went down. But first, kind of want to give like a life update because I feel like we Go haven't ahead, really dude. ever like chatted about like what we exactly do um, because we're new to the space, and I feel like not a lot of people know about our story. And so I kind of want to like dive into all that. Um, we're currently in Texas right now. We drove across the country from Orlando, Florida, all the way to Phoenix, Arizona. Went and did the Desert Open, which mm -hmm. we won, Martin Borgmeyer and I. And then we did Yeah, y'all put on a show. Dude, a show. A show. We were there for the people, bro. And uh, then we went to the Waste Management. Then we had a couple war against Weasel matches out there, which was awesome. And now we're making our way back to the East Coast, East Coast, Best Coast. So we're going through our little Texas tour right now. We, we're driving, which is crazy. I think there's, there's five of us total that's traveling. We got Manager Doug. We got Team North, we got Brady and Johnny, we got Winstoni and I, so we got five of us dudes, we all quit our jobs and we're all just, you know, winging it, trying to figure this all out, this little social media game. <laughs> and <clears throat> so we're headed back, we're headed back east right now, we're going to stop in all the, the major cities and rip some War Against Weasel matches here, and uh, anybody who wants to smoke, we're pulling up to your course, your home Doesn't course. Doesn't Steven live in Texas? Steven does live in Texas, and you know, I saw him. Have you good messaged good him? I've messaged him. We've actually chatted a little bit since the good, good thing, because I saw him there. Yeah, yeah, I met and him. And he didn't, he was scared to come up and say something. I was like, buddy, you can't send DMs saying you want to play for 10 racks. And he said, originally, he said 10 racks a hole. And yeah, now he's saying it's just You showed me those messages. Too. I remember that. I, I could, I could show him, but I won't do that, because I'm a good guy. But at the end of the day, like, you know. I'm sure he's a good dude, little no, Steve. It was really boy. nice. Little, he was really nice Dylan to me. Dylan Danis, Chewbacca man. And and the thing <laughs> is, it's like, <clears throat> I'm sure he's a good dude. But if you're gonna talk smack to me, at least own it and let's go rip the match. And the thing is, like, the world knows that that's not a real match because he's not a real golfer. I would dust him with my like C game. I would beat him by nine. So hopefully, I mean, we're gonna go through Dallas. I'll DM him right after this and be like, "What's going on?" You need to. We need up, to get dog. that filmed. Yeah. Oh, dude, that that actually would go crazy, and people want to see that. I guess, like, shoot, <coughs> I want to see it, dude. I, for you, I feel like yeah, you, I want to see front row seat, baby. Yeah, yeah. You get to see all this, and I think that's the biggest thing is like in these war against weasel matches. Everybody just sees the footage, which is which is great because we just keep it raw. We just pull up to these keyboard warriors and we just hit go. But it's got to be so awkward for you behind that camera just listening to me just because like, I make it awkward. Like you I do. put these dudes in mental pretzels and you kind of just got to hold the camera in front of these guys. And, like what does that feel like? What is that? Is that like weird? Dude, there's some moments where you kind of wonder if you should even use the film. Yeah. You know, it's like how does this look? But anytime I've been awkward behind the camera it's always been good footage yeah. every time yeah i look back and i'm like this is gold so mm -hmm. now i know if i'm behind the camera and i'm like god this is cringe who would watch this 
a lot of people do. I know. Maybe like it. So yeah. just, you know, keep making it awkward. I want to see the people uncomfortable. I even like seeing you uncomfortable. Yeah. But you take it re- really well. Anytime anyone's chirped you. You you kind of you you instantly laugh. You're like, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a good one, dude. <clears throat> when you when you give it, you gotta be able to take it, right? Of course. If you're going near the fire, you gotta be ready for the heat. It's fascinating though. Whenever we see some people who deliver the heat online mm-hmm. and then, and then in up. public, mm. it's, it, there is a completely different mm. you mental know, presence there. Everything about everything it. about it because. And at the end of the day, these people are keyboard warriors. Anybody, yeah. and, and that's the whole point of this War Against Weasel series, is that we're putting an end to that. Society has gotten so soft. You and I talk about it all the time. It's gotten so soft because all these people believe that they can talk all this smack online, and it's what's led to, to society being where it is today with all this mental health stuff, with all this like all these people just being so soft, is because nobody's having human interactions anymore. Back in the day, I would talk smack to one of my buddies. We would get into a straight-up fist fight and mm-hmm. leave with a black eye. Dude, I got my ass kicked by some of my I'm closest sure friends did. today, bro. You know? I'm sure you But did. it's one of those things where like, you talk smack, you punch, and then you, you hug and sing kumbaya at the end of the day, and you're boys again. And, and the bond is even deeper. And I'm trying to bring it back to that, right? And that's the whole thing is like all these keyboard warriors need to be exposed. And I'm a good golfer. I'm a, I'm a great golfer. How are the uh, keyboard warriors that you've met so far, though? Like every how do you like them so far? I mean, every single one of them has just proven my point right. And the only – I've lost twice to Grant and Micah, but those were nine-hole matches. Obviously, they both have asterisks on it. And during that <laughs> time, I was like – I was getting a little soft, you know? I was getting a little soft. I wasn't talking as much smack. I was having a good time out there. And 2024, I'm undefeated. And that's because – it's no longer like that. There has been a fire lit under my belly. And because of that, all these people will get the smoke. And kind of building off that Steven thing, there's some big matches out there that the world wants to see. Name and, dude, What are some of the big matches people want to see? Because I know them right off the top of my you head. You know, I mean, obviously, Busta Jack, who we met in Arizona. He pulled up and we did a little DOD competition. He got me by like a yard. Um, but I would... Honestly, I respected it. Is he I didn't a big think dude? he's a ma- he's like six nine, bro. He, <sighs> and the thing is, like, I that was our first time ever meeting. He's a decent guy. Like, I I didn't think I'd really like him, but he's actually a good guy. But his game surprised me a little. Obviously, all we hit was drivers, but that match will be settled on the golf course, and I will dust him because he just needs his little buddy over there to play a little scramble match. You know, that's all they do. They just do those little scrambles. So when you have to pull up against me one on one, and you enter the mental warfare that is when you enter the arena with the king, he will go down as everybody else will. And obviously, after that, the big one that everybody wants to see is me and Nick Delfico, me and Mason from Bust to Jack. That's another one. And the Paws Queen. Who's that? Ben. Rupert from Virginia, which is tough, which is tough. And uh, everybody's saying like, is he oh, really from Virginia? I think he's from Nova, which isn't really Virginia, but there's good people in Nova. So I'm not going to go <laughs> about that. But and I love Virginia. I represent it very much because or so much because I love the state of Virginia and all the people in it and the, the variety of cultures that that are in the state. But for me, everybody's saying like, oh, they won the Desert Open and they're all talking all this. I get so many DMs before my account got banned. They. It was a par three executive course scramble. I had a world on. I'm not making excuses. I had a world long driver. We were there. That whole event was for the people. Martin and I, the entire time, were going through the crowd, shaking hands, taking pictures, signing autographs, bringing people onto the course to hit shots for us. Mm-hmm. That whole event, that, that live event, which they did a good job of. A lot of people were giving them smack for that. But for, for me, I thought they did a good job. Um, and I think it shows they the future of, of the golf space as well because a lot of people are tuned into that more than professional golf, which is cool to see, especially because like we're, we're, we're you know new players in the space and we're climbing rapidly. Um, but for me, that whole event was for the people. All those people that are showing up and paying good money to come out to that event, Martin and I gave them a great experience. Anybody who followed us, they had a great time. So I'm, I'm enjoying that. But yep. Yeah, Ben Kruper, he'll go down as well. We got some heat lined up, and we're going full force on the war against Weasels. Yeah, hey, what's year. the plan for the summer? Yeah, <clears throat> we're going to go back to Virginia. We're going back to the state of Virginia. We're going to do a full tournament schedule. We're going to do a four, full war against Weasels schedule. And so we're going to get back home. We're going to lay low for a bit because we've gotten some crazy content. Obviously, we still have a, a good portion of this roadie ahead of us. We're going to get home and just straight grind. The golf game, the mental, the physical, like and be ready to rock and roll for tournaments this summer. It's going like to be incredible, man. 
and I'm excited for it because we're gonna we're gonna film. We have we've gotten the green light to film tournaments, which everybody wants to see, which I want to do. We're gonna go all in on competition because that's what the the world wants to see. And obviously, the DoD Queens is one of my favorite series as well. And we are gonna still do that for all the people that enjoy that. Have you explained to anybody out in the open about the VSGA amateur list that was created? We we have not yet because there's still legal matters to take. Okay. But as soon as they get taken, okay. they're coming after us, bro. Yeah, yeah, I know. They ban the account. I know. They, they do all that that we can't talk about yet, but we will soon. I cannot wait to talk about that because the people are after me, which is crazy. But, hey, man, we knew this would happen when yeah. we hopped into the game. With who I am, the way I act and talk, it's just who I am. But we all knew that, you know, we're going to be – when. Welcome to the big boy leagues, you know, because like, now it's real life. Now it's real life, and people are actually after me, and they're coming after everything that we're about. So we're prepared for it, and we're getting stronger and better as we go. We still have no idea what we're doing, but we're doing it. <laughs> and to kind of go into that, like, <clears throat> for those who know and follow me on all social media platforms, our Instagram got banned, like, two Sundays ago with – Zero reasoning whatsoever. They would tell you the reasoning? N so they ended up saying it was impersonation, which is just BS. Mm -hmm. They're saying I'm impersonating myself, which mm -hmm. you know, obviously doesn't make sense. But what ended up happening was there was over 10,000, think about that, 10,000 reports on my account in 24 hours. Mm. The people are after us, man. And the crazy thing is I, I don't it's one dude. I, I don't cuss, drink, <laughs> smoke, I don't do anything against the community guidelines, the Instagram community guidelines in any of our videos. No, you keep it clean. We I keep we, it clean, we specifically bro. keep it and clean. Like, and I talk smack, but I do it in a witty way where it's like I don't say anything stupid. The only thing that they, they could have got me for is it's apparently against the rules the rules to call people animal names. Animal names? Animal names. And I call people oh, who use tees oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. weasels. Oh, and if you get offended by that, in 2024, if you get offended by that, you got to mentally check yourself at the door, which is outrageous. So I don't know. But, dude, at the end of the day, like, there are some serious players, and it's scary, and we can't go into too much detail, but it's scary because there's some people that are after us that are big hitters, and they can just up and delete, essentially, a business – with zero reasoning whatsoever. So obviously 10,000 reports in a day, they must have done like some bots and stuff because what I was, obviously we were researching this every single day and trying to get it back. All these meta verified users and bots reported my account because of that Instagram took it down. And when I appealed it, they said it's permanently deleted and then I could never appeal it again. So obviously we have some big people to think and I'm not going to get into the specifics of that, but they got our account back for us. The thing that scared me about it all is that any given day, our business is based around social media and there's all these platforms that there there is no really customer service or like real people to talk to mm -hmm. and you're just done and yeah. you're just banned and gone and that's why a, like a few months ago i started posting on tangled.com because they it's essentially like every single one it's like twitter instagram short form long form content like youtube all of it in one and because of that, and I was like, okay, and I was reading through the guidelines there, and it's just like, you're good to do what you want whenever you want. Mm -hmm. And for me, so I started ripping that a couple months ago just in case of this happening. And it's, it's crazy because I guess that kind of like spoke it into existence, and, the, and, and they canceled and deleted us right away. But I'm going all in on that, and I'm trying to build that up because if I hadn't made that account delusionally confident yeah, for nothing. fun, I would have had zero voice mm -hmm. to talk about all of this happening on Instagram. And the people are outraged for me, and I appreciate every single person who continues to support, like, comment, subscribe, and follow on all platforms. At the end of the day, your support means the world to Winston yes, and I. Sir. And I know we don't talk about it too much. I've, I've been trying to recently because obviously I like going after the keyboard warriors and the haters. But we deeply are so grateful every day for all of you guys, the King's Army, who support Very us through the, the ups and downs of this life. The crazy thing is, like, when you're at the top of this game, when you're at the top and you're winning in life— everybody's chopping it up with you, sending you texts, you know, supporting you. Everybody's with you when you're winning. But when you're at the bottom and those people are supporting you still, that's real people. And that's mm -hmm. your real support. And that's the King's Army. And I, it gets me fired up when those people are still commenting. I got so many messages on that back account and so many people and fellow creators. And that's what really, you know, that's a good thing. that got me 
uh, I'm, I'm very grateful for that because a lot of big time fellow creators were out there posting me on their stories and everything and just, you know, showing their support. And I, it's too many to name, but I appreciate all every single one of you guys. Um, but real, back to Tangle, just because I want to make this important real quick, because Instagram could have taken both my accounts in and everything. In the link in the description, go follow me on Tangle.com because that's where we're going to be posting everything, the podcast, everything on that. And my, my whole fear with all of this is losing platforms. And we don't do anything to do that. So the fact that they can just up and cancel me and delete that with no repercussions on their end, but other than, oh, your account's back now, like you're good. They could do that at any moment. They could do yeah. it while we're on this podcast. They could go ban it again because these people are after me. So go create an account and follow me on Tangle.com because I can't get canceled there and we're going to post everything on there. So please, guys, stop what you're doing. Make sure you go <laughs> do that because um, that's going to be like the, our next big thing, um, which I'm actually very excited to to be a part of. And then... I guess going from there, as we wrap this up, we got some big things coming up on mm -hmm. on on the business side of things and everything. Obviously, <laughs> with this podcast, this is gonna be our last podcast posted on this main account. So everybody, as well as going to sign up for Tangled, go and subscribe to the Delusionally Confident podcast. We made a new YouTube channel. It's already like two hundred to three hundred subscribers, which is awesome. Nice. I appreciate all of you guys. Let's go get that to ten k after this video. If we get that to ten k, we'll do something crazy for y'all. So just go smash it. All it is is clicking a button. And that's where we're going to be posting the podcast. It's on Spotify, Apple Music, Tangled. It's on everything. But we're going to be trying to run up that account as well. But moving forward, we have an insane... We, we, we haven't dropped merch in a while. And the people have been asking for... Obviously, I have the 757 hats, the DOD hats, and all this stuff. And people have been asking why I haven't dropped any merch recently. And it's because we, we didn't know what we were doing when we hopped in this game. You were an assistant pro, and I was tiling bathrooms. Mm-hmm. And I guess let's, let's dive into that real quick, not to sidetrack it. But essentially, Winston was the assistant pro at my golf course. And he would come out and watch me play in these, <laughs> like, money matches. I wouldn't use tees. I'd talk smack to people. And he was actually the one who finally convinced me to get on camera because he was like, dude, you would go viral for, like, who you are. Like, you just talk smack and don't use tees. Like, that's crazy. I didn't think anything of it, and I didn't have any social media. I didn't want to do it. I was just tiling bathrooms, and on the weekends, I'd just go rip the money matches. But it took you about a month, and obviously Grant was a big player as well and a big mentor for us. But you posted those first videos on, like, your TikTok and everything. And they went viral. And we didn't have Instagram. I didn't even want to do anything. And, like, Golf Digest was posting it and Zyre Golf and all these mm -hmm. crazy things. And then you and I just started ripping it. At, like, whenever we had a free couple hours, we'd just go to the course and rip out, like, seven or eight TikToks, which is hilarious. That's but, horrible. dude, it's, like, changed our lives forever. And you're the man, bro. And then Thank Winston you. quit his job, and I quit my job. And we've been doing this for full time for about eight months now, and it's because of all you guys. And it's, it's been – there's been ups and downs, and it's been a chaotic rise, but we are continuing on, and we're learning the game as we go. And so to get back into, like, the merchandise and everything, we had no idea what we were doing with merch. And a lot of people supported us and bought it, but we had no idea what we were doing. We're not fashion guys. I'm a blue-collar guy, and you're, you're an assistant no, pro. I you used no to work in a body shop. Like, we didn't know what we were doing, bro. We're just, you know, we, we play golf, we film. But we've been taking our time. We brought in Brady from Team North to help us out. Dougie's been working on it as well. And we're going full in on this merch shop. I'm very excited for it. So y'all make sure to go check that out when it comes because it's going to be electric so we're dropping that soon Merch is, merchandise is going to be insane we got some big time collaborations because obviously like we've we sat down and we we mainly just want to go over war against weasel matches and competition but we also mm -hmm. have some major athletes of all these different sports that we're going to be collaborating with and i don't really want to get into names but they're going to be so good and that's been my favorite thing because like there's a new wave of golf coming in and all these players and athletes of other sports that you wouldn't expect to see on a golf course. And we've done that from the beginning of just people that you just wouldn't expect to be playing golf. And that's that's where we're at. We're here for, to grow the game of golf. Correct. At the end of the day, like we, we talk smack and all this stuff it's just because we keep it real. And we are who we are. But at the end of the day, this game is beautiful and it is for everyone. And we're trying to send that message out that golf is meant to be enjoyed for the people, by the people. You know, so I'm excited for all those collaborations coming up. Other than that, we're continuing on. Our Instagram is back. Everything is back. We're going full force now and to the moon. Let's go. I'm excited for this, brother. You have a lot of editing ahead of you. Hopefully we're we're going to take off and hit 100,000 on YouTube soon. We'll get an editor so you and I can just go film and, <laughs> and produce and, and go send it to them. And Big John's been helping a little bit from Team North Big as John. well, which is good. And uh, we got to go finish out this this road trip back to the East Coast, Let's brother. Let's do it, dude. All right. You ready to rock and roll, yes, my man? Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a fantastic day and a delusional, 
life. That is the Delusionally Confident Podcast, Episode 2, D.O.D. King.